in this lecture we are going to learn about one concept that is never call a virtual function from constructor or destructor okay so that is the concept so never call a virtual function from a constructor or destructor in c++ okay so let's see why so we will take one example class a it has a constructor a and we call fn okay so fn is a virtual void function and it makes a protected variable underscore n is equal to 1 we have another public function get n which returns underscore n okay so this is fine now let's see class b so we have it is inherited from class a and we have b it calls the constructor of a and let's see so a was calling the constructor uh, the function fn okay and then what happens we have also virtual void fn and underscore n is equal to 2 so what will happen now okay so let's see we make an object of b int n is equal to b dot get n and let's see so we have void fn so here the virtual function implementation in class b is underscore n is equal to 2 in the base class it is virtual void fn underscore n is equal to 1 we call now int get n so what should we get so the thing is what we will get so when we see and think that okay we are calling the function fn and it is for class b so the function for the implementation should be from the derived class isn't it and we do b dot get n and then c out n and what we see for surprise is that n underscore n is equal to 1 so why is this so so it's because so what happens is that when the constructor of the base class is getting called so at that time the virtual function gets called and then what happens at that time there is no the this is the first constructor for the base class is called and at that time the class b object is not created the data and the functions so because of that it now also treats the object of b as that of object of class a and that's why it calls the function fn of base class and sets underscore n is equal to 1 okay and not underscore n is equal to 2 so this is the important thing we should understand uh, we should not call the virtual functions from the constructor because in the constructor because we first call the constructor of the base class and then we call the constructor of the derived class so if the function is called from the base class so what will happen is it will be the implementation of the base class which will be called and hence we get the result one here okay so i hope you understand this video and the concept if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel and share it among your friends thanks a lot